Please join me in welcoming the Chief Economic Development Officer for the State of Florida, Governor Rick Scott. Well, first off, thanks for coming. The, um, it's, um, you know, this, uh, I, took, I uh, ran last year for this job and I put out a very specific platform. You know, it was seven steps to 700,000 jobs. And it's basically run the state like you run a business. Watch how you spend every dime. Uh, prioritize how you spend all the money. Uh, focus on education, focus on making sure we're the number one business climate in the country. And that's what we've been doing. Uh, with education, we've passed uh, significant reforms already this year. Uh, in our K through 12, our principals now uh, can get rid of bad teachers because we're getting rid of tenure. Uh, we expanded merit pay for, uh, started merit pay for teachers, expanded charter schools, public schools run by third parties, expanded virtual education, expanded opportunity scholarships. Uh, we're making sure our universities are teaming up with the private sector uh, to, create, to create more jobs. On the, uh, with businesses, we said, what are the three problems you have in business? Uh, you have one, are taxes fair? Uh, two, what about regulation? And three, what about litigation? So on taxes, we're already a low tax state. We don't have a personal income tax. Uh, we are starting to phase out the business tax. We have a low business tax. And already just in the first session, we cut the business tax for almost half the companies that are paying taxes. So on a regulation standpoint, we're going through every regulation we have. Uh, first off, we elim we're eliminate agencies. Uh, one, uh, the Department of Community Affairs, which was just redundant review of basically local zoning permits, things like that, we got rid of it. Uh, it's, it's going away. But we're going through every regulation, <clears throat> and this year we'll eliminate 1,100 regulations. Uh, we started looking at every individual regulation, but we'll eliminate the regulations that don't do anything uh, for business. And then last, we're making sure that we're the number one state for making sure we don't have frivolous lawsuits. So we're going making changes in that, in that regard. So we are, we're, if, and, and we're, if this state is changing. We have almost 8 million people working in the state, 19 million people uh, live in our state. We're the third or fourth biggest state or, uh, in the country. But we're going company by company and saying, what can we do to make sure this is the place you want to do business? And a lot of people think of Florida as Disney World or Universal Studios or orange juice or grape, uh, grapefruit juice. But you know, we're the, uh, we've got the third number, most number of uh, technology companies in the, in the uh, country now. We're the second fastest growing biotech uh, sector in the country. We, um, we've got a big aerospace industry. Uh, the, uh, everybody thinks that uh, NASA only uh, having one more shuttle launch is a problem. The truth is, look at all that talent uh, that is out there now that will either go to work with companies that move down that area of the state or they'll start their own companies. Uh, we, did a, um, we did a trade mission up to Canada, and a lot of companies, we met with over 130 companies up there, a lot of companies want to come to Florida, uh, partially just because they know they can find great talent. Uh, we've got great universities, but on top of that, all the talent from NASA that's going to be available to go to work at these, these companies. So our job is, is to go company by company, area in, you know, sector by sector, and make sure we're the best place to do business. Because if it's not a good place to do business, you're not, you know, no one's going to come. Um, and some of, the, some of the things that have already happened, you, you, know, you can feel good about. We, Chief Executive Magazine just came out with this study, said we're number three in the country now for a job, uh, best place to do business. Uh, Perry's Texas is still number one. I know Rick and I told him his time's up. Uh, he's had it seven years in a row. Uh, so we, we, can <clears throat> we compete all the time about who's going to be the best uh, place for companies to do business and do well. Because your own, your companies have to go uh, where they can do, uh, do well. And it's, and it's, it's uh, taxes, it's regulation, and it's litigation. Uh, so we're dealing with all that. And we've had big change already in our state just this year. The, um, uh, when I got into office, unemployment was 12% and was still trending up. Uh, the first five months of the year, unemployment's gone down every month. Uh, we've, been, we've generated 77,000 jobs this year. There's only one state that's beaten us, Texas, uh, has at 90,000. But I talked to Perry uh, the other day and I said, you, you know, you're in trouble. I said, in the month of May, we generated 28,000 jobs, you generated 8,000. We generated more jobs in May than the entire, Florida did, than the entire rest of the country combined. The whole rest of the country only did 54,000. And it's, you know, all it is, is, is putting people in place, putting in each of the, you know, agencies and saying, how do we make this a place where people want to do business? You know, if you have a, you know, what I want business people to know is if you have a problem with government, maybe we can't solve your problem, but at least we're going to listen to you and see if we can solve your problem. And if we can't, we can't, but if we can, we're not going to, we're not going to take five years to do it. And so there's a, there's a significant new uh, change in attitude 
uh, in our state as far as how government's run. And it's really going to be run for the benefit of creating jobs in our state. Because in every state in this country, uh, jobs is the biggest problem. Uh, but we're going to make sure we're the state that everybody wants to do business. And I always, uh, I tell a lot of governors in the north, I said, you don't have a shot. I said, one, it's freezing, you're going to freeze your tail off and people want to live in Florida. You don't have any beaches, you don't have our weather. Uh, on top of that, you guys have an uh, income tax, we have none. You, if you're trying to cut your business tax, well, ours is already lower than what you're going to cut yours to. Uh, and, and, so, and people want to live in Florida. So we have a great opportunity. And our sectors, our high tech, our biotechnology, uh, aerospace, all those are growing uh, very rapidly. Uh, in our state. So, and right now, if you go look at the numbers for our growth uh, this year, it's a lot of it is hospitality, but a lot of it is life sciences. Uh, so, it's all the things that got started uh, with uh, the different research institutes that you know started coming in uh, years ago, and it's just it's it's accelerating. If you travel around our state, uh, you get really excited about it. And we have great uh, we have great hospitals uh, around the state, and we've got a lot of research centers now. So, uh, I'm. You know, anybody can call me. Uh, I'll try to solve any problem I can. All you have to do is call the Capitol. Uh, and if it's, uh, I'll, I return phone calls. And plus, I harass people a lot. I call people all the time. Um, I was talking to one of our uh, state senators, and he was at a meeting the other day, and a guy from Illinois, because I try to call every company in Illinois. Um, because, you know, I like people that raise their taxes. I, I was on CNN the other day with the uh, governor of Connecticut, and I just wanted him to keep talking. Uh, because I talked about it as how he's going to raise this tax and this tax and this tax. Uh, but uh, the, um, the senator from uh, uh, Florida was talking to the senator from Illinois, state senator. He says, the guy from Illinois said, what is your governor doing? And uh, he says, and he, well, what's he doing? He says, well, he keeps calling on all of our companies. And, uh, they, and you know, companies are moving because of uh, taxes, because of regulation, uh, because of litigation, and just attitude about business. So we are the state that uh, is going to have the best attitude about business. So I hope all of you, if you're not in Florida, most people will be in Florida eventually. Uh, everybody wants to be there. I, uh, that's why I, t I tell Perry, I said, you know, you have a great state in Texas, but, you know, people won't live in Florida. Uh, so, but um, uh, we'll try to solve any problems you have, and we want you to, to grow uh, in Florida and do well in Florida. So thanks, thanks a lot for coming today.